Hello, good evening, everyone. So glad to see you all. Hello, Shefali, ma'am. Hello, Vivek, sir. Just wanted to confirm, uh, am I audible? Is my voice clear? If you could just put yes or no in the chat box. That'd be great. Yes, yes. Thank you, Valjindra, sir. Thank you, Adit, sir. Amazing. So, uh, today, uh, Money Matters is bringing to you a small panel discussion on post budget and uh, you must have seen the budget uh, of 2022 and you must have heard about different uh, highlights and key points and taxes and changes. So we are going to talk about that today. We are going to talk about how it's going to affect different sectors, corporates and individual uh, you specifically so for that we today with us we have uh two panelists co-founder of money matters gautam karni uh who uh, he has done uh, uh, certified financial plan he is a certified financial planner he's been into the uh, advisory and financial uh financial services since 15 years and uh, you must have seen him if you read Marathi uh, newspaper. Uh, he has written a lot of articles. His re recent article on the topic of uh, uh, secured investment options got published recently. So welcome, Gautam sir. Thank you, Charmi. Thank you so much for the wonderful words. Thank you. So Amul sir is uh, due to some emergencies not today. Uh, he could not join us today. So today with us, we have very special guests to solve all your questions and answer to you, all your queries. Adit sir, hello. Uh, he is founder of Adept Ally. And I, yeah, sorry. Yeah, he's founder of Adept Ally and he has uh, also done, he is also certified financial planner. Uh, he has worked into Kotak Mahindra Bank. He has worked into big four uh, companies and Let's begin with the presentation. I would just request you to give a small brief about uh, what budget was about and what were the key points. Sure. So thank you, Charmi, and uh, good evening to everyone who has joined in. Uh, you have in front of you a slide which says, which gives you highlights of the budgets, right? So this is cutting across uh, the spectrum. This is not necessarily filtered for individuals. This also uh, includes customs related and uh, uh, other uh, provisions which may not necessarily be relevant for individuals. So let's talk about what is relevant for individuals and HUFs because that is that is basically the most, uh, you know, that, that is the area that garners a lot of interest in people as to what is there for us. Is me hamare liye kya hai? Aam admi ke liye kya hai? So let's cut right to the chase and, uh, you know, let's talk about the top 10 takeaways for me uh, from this budget, right? The uh, first takeaway, uh, and Charmi, just uh, let me know in case I'm exceeding my time. Uh, I'll uh, just, uh, you know, uh, curtail it short. So uh, 10 takeaways for me. First, largest takeaways, no change in, in uh, individual and HUF income tax labs. So that, that says a lot, uh, when you say no change in slab, uh, what does that basically mean? What does that mean? Okay, so then what is that? 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 What is The idea is that the government wants continuity in the taxation. And at the same time, government did not have adequate fiscal space. And I'll touch upon that part a bit later if the time permits us. Government did not have enough uh, fiscal space to uh, seed uh, further deductions or to allow more rebates or to make, uh, you know, cut the tax rates. The government did not have that kind of space. So top two takeaways. One is no changes in individual and HUF tax labs. Second takeaway is no major change in deductions. Uh, when we talk deductions, ke baat karte hai, we think about Section 80C. Section 80D, uh, 
there are a lot of uh, other uh, you know uh, provisions which are popular like section 80e uh, all of those have been kept unchanged right uh, there are a couple of changes which i'll touch upon in uh, some points later but apart from those two or three changes in the deductions there is nothing uh, major which impacts everyone so again this this comes from the lack of space that the government has to uh, concede more deductions uh, the third point is covid related relief measures so when i say covid related relief measures government has uh, gone on to uh, allow three kinds of deductions now this is something new government has given a deduction of the amount received by a person in respect like april 2020 in case a person has spent x amount of money on treating covid uh, you know covid uh 19 disease and he receives from some unrelated person a uh, x amount of money which is maybe equivalent of the expenditure incurred by can you hear that it will now not be taxable it will be taxable uh am i am i audible no sir your voice is lagging we we lost you in between Uh, if you okay. could just repeat the last part, uh, the COVID part from the beginning, it would be a great. Thing. Thank you. Still uh, lagging for me because my my video lagged a little bit. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I'll continue. I'll continue. Uh, the idea is so there are three kinds of uh, uh, you know benefits that have been allowed by the government. One benefit is in case. a person who has spent some amount of money on his covid treatment he receives that equivalent amount of money or a little bit less money from some unrelated person that money that he receives which is normally taxable will now not be taxed now the limit for that is rupees 10 lakh if he receives anything about 10 lakh that becomes taxable but if it is lower than 10 lakh then to that extent the government has uh, made it uh, possible for you to claim exemption that's a big uh, take away for for uh, from my perspective uh, the other take away uh, taking uh, carrying on in the same vein the other take away is in case of a death of a person uh, due to covid right so in case that person is an employee and uh, his employer pays certain amount of money to his survivors his family uh, dependents and so on then that amount becomes exempt that is another uh, uh, you know uh, 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 kind of a, a benefit that government has extended and third benefit that uh, the government has extended is that in case an employee suffers from covid he spends on his own treatment and the uh, employer reimburses that treatment reimbursement of medical expenses generally gets taxable beyond a certain threshold limit now that limit has been taken out for covid 19 treatment so does this lakh ka limit for uh, receiving money through unrelated people or through uh, employer of the deceased person and no limit for the amount that you received from your employer this is a major uh, deduction that the government has given in this budget in my uh another take away for me uh, i think uh, bhachandra sir has uh, raised certain point but i think we'll we'll uh, i'll just carry on in my flow and then i'll answer his question so uh employer ps now national pension scheme is something that we have all heard about and we all uh, the amount that uh, central government uh, uh, central government uh, contributes to a central government employees account is uh, receives a lot of uh, benefit 
to the extent of 14%. So central government pays to central government employees NPS account to the extent of 14% of his salary, that amount is available as a deduction. But that limit of 14% for central government was kept at 10% for state government employees. That was before the budget. Now the government has restored parity between state and central government employees by raising this limit of 10% to 14% in case of the state government employees. In other words, kya hota hai? the employer ne employee ke account may contribute kiya, to employee ka income ban jata hai. Us income ko aap deduction karke claim ho kar dete ho, to wo aapke taxable income se hat jata hai. So in other words, it becomes kind of tax free for you. That limit of tax free was 14% for central government, 10% for state. Ye cheez ab 14-14% dono equal ban gaya. Agar government, koi bhi government abhi, central estate 15% contribute karta hai. So to the extent of that 1%, it will be a taxable. Aap usse zyada deduction claim nahi karta. This is basically the, uh, the uh, gist of this particular uh, uh, benefit that government has extended. Now, another takeaway is uh, for me, crypto taxation, cryptocurrency uh, and what the government calls it virtual digital assets and virtual digital assets. The world is, has actually uh, created some unintended problems, but more on that later. But uh, government has given that kind of a treatment to the crypto assets that government will now treat them at par with speculative assets. How does that work? In case I have purchased uh, certain crypto assets, now I intend to sell them. So I have sold some in 100 I have I crypto asset in 100 30 rupees is my uh, profit in this particular thing. So, jo 30%, pro, 30 rupees ka jo profit earn kiya hai, that profit will now be taxed at 30% flat. The capital gain rate for uh, normal ca capital uh, assets is maybe 10% or 20%. This is the kind of rate that we keep hearing. In case of certain assets, it may be as per your slab limit. But there is no asset which is taxed flat at 30%. Now we have one asset which is flat taxed at 30%. Uh, there is no deduction allowed in respect of brokerage or any other transaction charges that you incur in the process of this purchase or sale. Now, uh, coming to uh, the time from which this provision will apply. The provision will apply from 1st of April 2020. 1st of April 2022 ka matlab hai hai ki up till March this provision does not apply. Up till March 31st, 2022, people have some kind of a legroom available to do tax planning. I've, I'll come to the tax planning bit also a bit later because I'm right now completing my 10 takeaways. Uh, there is no set off or carry forward also available in case you make a loss. In case of normal capital gains, you can carry them forward. You can set it off with your future profits that you earn out of it. But in this case, you cannot. Those losses get lapsed. And uh, there is also a requirement in case uh, you are trading through a wallet, you are trading through an exchange rather. You're trading through an exchange and you are supposed to receive some hundred rupees for the cryptocurrency that you have sold on that hundred rupees. The exchange is supposed to deduct 1% as TDS. Jobi Banda Apu Pase Deta hai hundred rupees. He is supposed to deduct one rupees as TDS. This is to ensure that the transaction, the crypto sale ka transaction is reported. In case uh, the TDS is deducted, the transaction will be reported. And if it is reported, it's part of a 26 AS. There is no chance of misreporting or non-reporting of that transaction on the part of the assessee. So this is to ensure that the reporting goes on properly. This is another thing that government does. Now coming to uh, the next uh, takeaway for me, which is updated returns. Now we already know that there is a provision of revised returns. Agar maine kuch return mein kar diya, I can always revise my return and you know set the record straight. But here the government has told that in case uh, for two years after your uh, 
uh, return is filed for the year in which the return is filed for the next two years in case you feel ki maine kuch miss kar diya due to which i have short paid certain tax i have not reported certain income which was supposed to be reported in that case you can file an updated return this is different from a revised return you can file an updated return you can mention the income that you missed reporting and you can pay the taxes on it in case there is any delay fee and so on you can pay that as well and plus you need to pay an additional tax now this is this is the catch here in case for one year in case aapne ek saal ke andar return updated return file kar diya so you need to pay 25% additional tax and in case aapne ek saal se leke 2 saal tak from 1 to 2 years in case you uh, you know you update you file an updated return then you need to file a 50% additional tax तो आपका जो भी टैक्स लाइबिलिटी था उसमें आप 25 परसेंट या फिफ्टी परसेंट एड करके पे करके फिर आप रिटर्न फाइल कर सकते दिस इज द प्रोविजन द आइडिया इज कि गवर्नमेंट बाद में आपको पकड़ेगा ये सब ढूंढ ढूंढ के देन देर कुड बी आई दर डिस्प्यूट दे मे नॉट बी डिस्प्यूट अगर डिस्प्यूट नहीं भी होता है तो भी पेनल्टी रेंजेस फ्रॉम हंड्रेड परसेंट टू थ्री हंड्रेड परसेंट वट गवर्नमेंट इज नाउ डन इज आपको अगर खुद को पता चल गया तो आप हमें ढूंढने पे आप मजबूर मत करो आप खुद ही रिपोर्ट कर दो मैं आपका पेनल्टी थोड़ा कम कर देता हूँ दिस इज बेसिकली वॉट गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू राइट सो दिस इज दिस इज वन इंटरेस्टिंग अप्रोच दैट गवर्नमेंट इज टेकिंग देन वी ऑलरेडी नो द नेक्स्ट टेक अवे वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट देर इज टी डी एज एप्लीकेबल ऑन एक्विजेशन ऑफ इमुएबल प्रॉपर्टी तो आप जिससे भी खरीद रहे हो उसका टी डी एस काटोगे गवर्नमेंट को भरोगे बाकी का अमाउंट उसको दे दो This is basically how TDS works. Now the government has said कि आप कर रहे हो very good. You are deducting TDS on sale consideration amount. अगर दस लाख का property है stamp valuation मतलब पंद्रह लाख हो आप दस लाख पे deduct कर सकते हो. But अभी government ये बोल रहा है कि whichever is higher in case you are uh, uh, you know selling at a valuation which is below stamp valuation. And there are many distress case uh, distress sale cases where people are forced to sell below. Uh, stamp duty valuation or there could be some mischievous cases also where people deliberately valued less than that in both these cases the tds is supposed to be deducted at higher of stamp duty and sale consideration so 10 lakh ka mera sale consideration 15 lakh ka mera stamp duty i am supposed to deduct 1% tds on 15 lakh not on 10 this is the clarification that government has added now the next point TDS on benefits or perquisites from business. Uh, before this, uh, there was either a grey area or not a, not complete clarity that whether we should deduct taxes on benefits that we get from business, not from job, not from salary. The perquisites include many things like even non-compete fees comes under that. Many such benefits that you accrue. From the very fact that you are in a particular business, उस पे भी आप वो जो benefit आपको देगा उस पे he he is now brought under he has been now been brought under the net of TDS. So whatever benefit he makes it available to you, he is supposed to value that he is supposed to deduct one percent. Uh, he is supposed to deduct whatever I mean the applicable rate and he is supposed to pay to the government. This is another provision, and. Uh, the next provision is reduction of surcharge on long term capital gains this is applicable to high net worth individuals whose income ranges from 2 crore onwards right 2 crore to 5 crore and 5 crore plus in logo ke liye the surcharge rates used to be 25% and 37% also applicable to the long term capital gains so what government has now done is across all asset classes they have brought down the long term capital gain rate Uh, the surcharge rate of long term capital gain to 15% so aapka jitna ltcg hoga wo to aap pay karoge tax pe tax matlab surcharge jo aap pay karte the wo 25 or 37% pay karte the now that has been brought down to 15% and finally the income received by a non resident from a portfolio managed by a portfolio manager from a account maintained in off- offshore banking unit or ifsc अगर आप एनआरआई हो या आप नॉन रेसिडेंट हो और आपका अकाउंट एक आईएफएससी में है जैसे कि गिफ्ट सिटी में 
और वहां का एक पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजर आपका पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजर है वहां से आपको प्रॉफिट होता है वो जो प्रॉफिट है दैट प्रॉफिट इज नाउ बिन हैज नाउ बिन एग्जेम्पल एज लॉन्ग एज दैट प्रॉफिट यू नो यू आर यू आर नॉन रेसिडेंट एंड यू आर disclosing that you can always claim that as an exemption this is these are the top 10 takeaways for me which are uh, you know which are there in the budget so budget mein kuch nahi hai is actually not correct budget mein bahut kuch hai i don't know maybe but budget mein kuch to hai thank you so much aapne thode time mein pura budget pura summarize kar diya thanks a lot so actually i was going to ask you that only how much would you rate this budget because people were expecting so much of uh, uh, like uh, tax slab mein kuch changes hoga ya fir atc ka limit badhega itna sab expectations tha but people are like kuch aaya hi nahi budget mein kuch hai hi nahi apne liye so how much would you rate according to you how was the budget out of five <laughs> my expectations were very less because uh, uh, it was pretty evident that government uh, will obviously play very cautious because omicron was around the corner government ko ye pata nahi hoga ki unka tax collection kitna ghatega kitna badhega the government would have been expected to not do anything at all to hamper the tax collections in any way so wo main to expect nahi kar raha tha but more or less kuch cases mein now i give full marks to the government for allowing the deduction in case of covid 19 cases but there are many businesses also which were affected by covid 19 cases they expected some sort of a relief in their cases and the government has not given anything of that sort uh so for me it's a 8 it's a, sorry uh, yeah, for on a scale of 5 it is 4 for me not 3 not 5 kuch kasar baki reh gayi hai government ke taraf imagine that Uh, okay cool cool so uh, can we take up balchandra sir's question uh, while you were presenting uh, he was asking about what is the what is this extra income you just said about 10 lakhs limit non taxable so if you could repeat that point for him okay 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 so extra income meaning uh, in case if some person now assume that there is uh, charmi there is adit and uh, you know there is gautam and uh, for god forbid adit has covid and adit has uh, incurred something to the tune of 9 lakh rupees ka hospital bill and charmi or gautam were kind enough to give adit say 4 lakh rupees and 5 lakh rupees to uh, you know make good that treatment now i ideally adit is supposed to report that as his taxable income and pay taxes on that 9 lakh that he has received from charmi and from gautam but with this uh, so this this is what i was talking about when i said extra income extra income matlab jo aapko as a help kisi ne diya tha wo actually aapka income karke kehlaya jata hai normally but now government has recognized that covid is an extraordinary uh, kind of a situation the pandemic itself is extraordinary so government has given out a, a, a benefit whereby up till 10 lakh rupees i can claim that uh, you know the contribution that i received from my friends or from unrelated people i can claim that as non taxable but yeah agar 10 lakh ke upar chala jata hai to then i have to report this is what i basically mean yes it is related only to covid amazing so if you could also talk about like a uh, break up of revenue and expenditure kya yes ye, yeah. ye, this is this is one chart that i found very interesting uh in the synopsis that the government has released of this budget ki ye budget mein kya hai ye paisa jo aap se liya hua hai wo kaun se kaun se uh, taxes se le rahe hain aur kahan kahan pe spend kar rahe hai government release pie charts for that and i found that very interesting so i got that uh, in the presentation so uh, government is basically expecting to receive 15% of all its income through income tax income tax meaning taxes other than corporation tax companies pe jo tax hai usko chhod ke baki jitna income tax hai 15% jo companies pe tax hai income tax that is again 15% so income tax dono mila ke total government is expecting 30% of its total income to come from income tax then union excise duties 
excise duties is generally applicable for petroleum products in case of uh, central government so 7% come uh, is expected to come out of that uh, then gst is supposed to contribute to roughly 16% of its overall uh, proceeds customs duty will uh, provide another 5% and non tax revenue non tax revenue ka jo major component hota hai wo hota hai disinvestment तो डिसइनवेस्टमेंट से या फिर ऐसे नॉन टैक्स रेवेन्यू से गवर्नमेंट इज एक्सपेक्टिंग फाइव परसेंट ऑफ इट्स टोटल बिल और टोटल रादर इनकम्स एंड नॉन डेट कैपिटल रिसीव्स उससे टू परसेंट गवर्नमेंट इज एक्सपेक्टिंग सम एसेट सेल्स एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर नाउ इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग हियर इज बोरोइंग एंड अदर लाइबिलिटीज इज थर्टी फाइव गवर्नमेंट इज ओनली एबल टू मेक गुड only 65% of its overall uh, expenditure as as its income so 100 rupees ka main kharcha kar raha hu 65 rupees main kama raha hu actually 35 rupees i'll have to borrow this is basically what the chapai chart says and the rupee goes to uh the rupee goes to major component is central sector schemes like nrega like many other schemes that you have uh finance commission and other transfers 10% uh other expenditure 9% central sponsored schemes again 9% subsidies 8% defense 8% big component is interest payments is 20% so uh, as it is government has borrowed a lot of money as the repayment of that money is costing 20% of its overall tax collection and uh, did i miss pensions 4% so this is this is basically a synopsis ki paisa kahan pe jayega government i found this very interesting particularly the part of borrowings 35% because if government is going to borrow that much then we can expect uh, some sort of interest rate hike in the times to come okay so raj patel has very interesting question capital expenditure was heard a lot can you explain it in in detail sure so uh, when government says capital expenditure what government is essentially saying is that it will spend money on creation of assets creation of assets for uh, either they could be uh, assets yielding monetary returns or they could be assets yielding social returns roads hospitals these are all assets in government books so ye jo sara capital expenditure government karne ja raha hai government is saying that we will in create assets in such a way we will create facilities in such a way that they will uh, incur benefits over a longer period in case government invests in capital expenditure then expect a lot of uh, you know uh, benefits accruing not just to individuals but also to businesses and it is generally considered that uh, in case businesses receive benefits from better roads better power availability better water availability water is also important component in many industries when that happens the businesses tend to flourish they pay more taxes so uh, capital expenditure pe kharcha karna is generally considered a futuristic move ki aage chalkar mujhe jab tax collection karna padega to people should be able to cough up money otherwise main tax liye ja raha hu liye ja raha hu i main kuch bo nahi raha hu to mujhe milega kaise so this is a good move by the government that they are incurring that much of money on capital expenditure now i i broke down the i, I actually looked into what uh, money is being spent where one big component was on a uh, nuclear energy so nuclear power corporation of india just to name a uh, example nuclear power corporation of india is getting a big chunk in five digit crore something now uh, that in my view is a uh, uh, is a sign that government is going to invest in nuclear power or it is in process of investing in nuclear power and uh, the contribution had gone to npcil in the last budget as well so npcil is i think uh, uh, i mean contribution to npcil at one end does not add to pollution because coal thermal based power is a pollution 
generating a source of power nuclear power is relatively clean so i think government is well on its way to you know ensure that they generate clean energy by the target that they set for themselves but this is one example there are many such examples uh, where government is committed to invest they have committed to invest in defense sector as well uh, to upgrade its uh, defense infrastructure they have uh, invested in uh, companies like coal india so for you know digging coal out of the you know out of the coal beds or the coal mines or to develop new coal mines the government has come up with uh, a big contribution towards coal india as well so these are some of the examples that the government is uh, you know expected to spend on and uh, we can only hope that this these efforts yield fruit amazing thank you uh, i hope uh, raj sir you got the answer if you have any follow up question please put it in the chat box so uh, we had some questions from our clients also when we send them the posters and banners so uh, for them uh, as a salaried employee what does the budget mean for me okay so for a salaried employee budget means jo kal tha wahi aaj hai continuity <laughs> that's what it means uh, in case uh, you were unfortunately uh, you know uh, infected with covid and you had to spend certain amount of money and you have borrowed money from people and now you are worried ki abhi year end mein mujhe chartered account puchega ki main paise ka kya karu so to that extent you have some uh, relief that the government has given you uh, apart from that i don't see much acha one thing that uh, i can point out in case of people who are uh, you know uh, basically jin pe kuch disabled uh, उनके घर पे या स्पेशली एबल्ड पीपल है जो उन पे डिपेंड करते हैं फॉर इनकम और फॉर ट्रीटमेंट और फॉर देयर अपकीप सो ऐसे लोगों के लिए गवर्नमेंट हैज यू नो फाइन ट्यून्ड दैट सेक्शन एटी डबल डी देव नॉट इंक्रीज द लिमिट इन एनी वे बट वॉट देव बेसिकली डन हियर इज अपटिल नाउ गवर्नमेंट हैड ओनली मेड इट पॉसिबल दैट द पर्सन हु रिसीव मनी दैट इज द person who is dependent he when he receives money at the time of death of the person that is dependent on that is exempt in case he receives money in any other event that is not exempt the government has added one condition that in case the person who is dependent on crosses the age of 60 then in such a case uh, whichever time the dependent person receives money that point that money will be exempt so they have added one more situation in that 80 double d ka section where uh, the deduction will be allowed in case of one more situation otherwise not much for the salary jo pehle tha wohi hai matlab right so uh, uh, my question to you gautam sir yeah please so the question about, is to vivek kumar uh, the fm talked about digital rupee how does it come into the picture any light on that adit sure sure so okay one uh, one classic thing is uh, government has taxed virtual digital assets but they have added exceptions of indian currencies and foreign currencies so digital rupee does not come in the purview of virtual digital assets that's one point so government does not intend to tax the indian digital rupee at 30 now coming to what the indian digital rupee means because I also dug deeper into what that means क्योंकि वैसे भी हम लोग तो यू पी आई कर ही रहे हैं फॉर आस रूपीज आई मीन फॉर द न्यू जनरेशन पर्टिकुलरली रूपी इज डिजिटल इवन इफ इट इज नॉट डिजिटल राइट वी वी डू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ डिजिटल ट्रांजेक्शन वी डू आई एम बी एस वी डू आर टी जी एस वी डू वॉट नॉट तो वॉट इज स्पेशल अबाउट डिजिटल रूपी डिजिटल रूपी एनेबल्स पियर टू पियर ट्रांसफर्स वेन आई से पियर टू पियर वॉट आई मीन इज you don't need a middleman you can directly so I, i if i want to pay to gautam uh i am peer 1 gautam is peer 2 i have to route my transaction through one middleman it could be a bank it could be some body like npci it could be both so i have to route it through someone digital rupee or you know cryptocurrency model in general believes in peer to peer transfers so without spending uh, anything on the transaction fees without paying anyone anything 
for a simple transfer of money uh, you can transfer that money between adit and gautam this is basically what uh, crypto as a crypto currencies are trying to achieve in case of other currency now where the rupee come into picture in this rupee comes into picture particularly in cases where peer to peer transfers are still not possible in india abhi upi mein you must be noticing that there is a limit of i think 1 lakh rupees or 2 lakh rupees limit is there for upi beyond which you cannot transfer individuals can transfer because upi is aadhar driven for those bodies companies who don't have an aadhar they can't transfer now digital rupee can bring all of those bodies in the in the mix and they can ensure that they can also do peer to peer transfer bypassing banks or bypassing whoever they have to pay money to so ye ek major change aa sakta hai because of introduction of digital rupee uh, so this is introduction of digital rupee can be perceived as negative by banking and financial services sector and uh, they'll have to put their thinking hats on and think of a way to benefit from that as well which they are so good at uh, so their business model will change in case you are invested into financial services or banking sector then this is something that uh, the banks uh, will have to think about and uh, you will have to hear a lot of commentary on this that what how it impacts their bottom line तो आदित्य सर डू यू थिंक इज इट फेयर मतलब अभी लीगल भी नहीं किया है क्रिप्टो को ना अपना जो डिजिटल रुपये है उस पर टैक्स नहीं लग रहा है थर्टी परसेंट पर क्रिप्टो पर थर्टी परसेंट लग रहा है पर लीगल नहीं किया वो जिसको स्टिल गवर्नमेंट विल रिसीव टैक्स ऑन इट एंड सेट ऑफ भी नहीं है सो डू यू थिंक दिस डिसीजन वॉज फेयर आई थिंक फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर क्लैरिफाइड ऑन दिस पॉइंट इन वन ऑफ द इंटरव्यूज दैट इट इज इन हर परव्यू टू टैक्स बिकॉज शी इज अ फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर and as you know tax is attracted for everything it is for illegal things it is for illegal transactions it is for everything you can tax anything in india as long as you can recognize ki ye cheez ho rahi hai isse income generate ho raha hai tax is simple as that but finance minister says that it is out of her purview or it is out of the mandate of the budget speech to uh, comment on the legality of uh, the crypto assets and the she wants rbi to take a call on this as she wants rbi because rbi is parallelly carrying out certain you know discussions with the industry they are doing certain research of their own as to ki mai isko treat kaise karu and moreover this issue is a global issue so you cannot be an outlier in the world and either legalize it or make it illegal abhi aap trishanku avastha mein hai aapko ye bhi nahi pata ki legal hai ki nahi hai so you will have to see the global trend you will have to see what is the best practice or best idea that is emerging from outside of india maybe you can be a part of that process to evolve a solution which is perfect for all situations and then you can maybe comment on the legality of it. this is what the government uh, thinks and this is what the, i think they are uh, which is why they have basically desisted from commenting on the legality but they have brought it under taxation mai tax le lunga legality ke baad baad mein kar mera mera badhiya to add to that point uh, just to tell you ki uh, jab uh, budget hua after that uh, i have we have a lot of i mean as a company we have a lot of clients who have invested in crypto uh, trust me till before the budget sabke man mein ye tha ki uh, bhai ye blacklist karne wale hain ye करने वाले हैं एंड द टेंशन वॉज दैट वॉट इफ माई एसेट गेट फ्रीज फ्रोजन मतलब जो आज क्रिप्टो में इन्वेस्टेड था उसको ये पता नहीं था आई एम टॉकिंग ऑफ इंडिया आई मीन इंडियन इंडियन से एंड ट्रस्ट मी इफ नॉट मोर वी हैड अ लॉट ऑफ क्लाइंट्स हु हैड इन्वेस्टेड ट्राइड इन्वेस्टिंग इन इन क्रिप्टो सो दे वर स्केर्ड कि भैया अब मेरे पैसों का क्या भाई मेरे को मेरा पैसा मिलने वाला है कि नहीं मिलने वाला सो एटलीस्ट दे आर श्योर कि आगे अगर मैं जाके उसको प्रॉफिट बुक कर लेता हूँ टैक्स भर के आई कैन आई एम श्योर कि इट हैज सम यू नो एग्जिस्टेंस ना हो देर इज नो हाँ ठीक है वो आरबीआई विल गेट सम रेगुलेशन ऑफ इट बट द फर्स्ट स्टेप टूवर्ड्स टेकिंग टैक्स फ्रॉम दैट मीन्स दैट 
they are in the they are moving towards a positive step to uh, uh, you know do something in that direction so let's see what what are government, has, government has clarified though i think it was uh, finance secretary or i forget who it was they have clarified that it will never be recognized as a legal tender it will never be recognized as a currency it may be recognized as a security it may be recognized as something else maybe as a uh, actionable claim or i don't know what it will be recognized as but definitely not as a currency the only uh, body in india who can issue currency is the rbi rbi that's what that has unequivocally very clearly come come out from the government i think finance minister secretary or somebody has commented on it correct i agree wow. so in all pata nahi hai kya hone wala hai cryptocurrency ka par tax to <laughs> charge hone wala hai ye pakka hai <laughs> right so uh, my question to you gautam sir uh, how should i go about my investment planning in respect to this budget so if you could just say ki kya changes karne chahiye okay changes kuch nahi i mean i genuinely feel that uh, if the government as per adits uh, well we had a very nice fantastic question uh, which asked about uh, capital expenditure हम क्यों कर रहे हैं खर्चा गवर्नमेंट क्यों कर रहा है खर्चा क्योंकि गवर्नमेंट को एसेट्स क्रिएट कर अगर गवर्नमेंट अगर आप बजट से कुछ क्यों लेना चाहते हो सो द बिगेस्ट क्यू फॉर मी विल बी यू नीड टू फोक क्या हो रहा है पीपल एफ व्हेन वी डू फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग शार्मी एज यू आल्सो द पार्ट ऑफ द टीम लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल वॉन्ट टू गेट इन बाइंग सो मेनी लाइबिलिटीज इट्स आई एम नॉट से वो खराब है Uh, people don't want to uh, focus on creating assets assets creation take time ek ek uh, ek ghar banne ke liye time lagta hai aapko kuch bhi karna hai uske liye time lagega aapko retirement uh, ka corpus create karne ke liye ek time lagne wala so uh, you have to take the right steps uh, and there are a lot of uncertainties on the way matlab pata nahi hai ki kya kya cheeze hone wali hai par jaise government परसेंटेज वाइज अपना पैसे एलोकेट कर रही है टू सी टू इट की आगे जाके उनके एसेट्स क्रिएट हो एसेट्स का मतलब क्या सिंपल बात है आगे जाके जो आपको रिटर्न्स दे इन फॉर्म ऑफ रेंटल्स हो या इन फॉर्म ऑफ प्रॉफिट्स हो सो इट्स इट्स गुड कि गवर्नमेंट ने हमको भी एक क्लियर अगर हम बजट से कुछ सीखना चाहते हैं तो ये कि यू शुड फोकस on creating your asset so that is my my biggest take away from this particular budget and uh, we are here to help you so uh, thank you sir bal chandra sir is saying in short middle class keep paying tax government uses it to create infrastructure with a hope that after 10 years in- inflation will reduce uh this is not the only strategy government has to reduce inflation obviously but uh, i think every little contributes to a goal it may be a short term measure it may be a very long term 10 year 5 year measure but ye karna padta hai aur government ko hi karna padta hai in a country like india where deep pockets are relatively limited ek aad koi tata hai dusra koi ambani hai teesra koi birla hai apart from that the deepest pockets come from the government so uh, for the since independence we have seen that government has to incur a lot of capital expenditure and we can yield the fruits i mean we can reap the fruits 10 years down the line 15 years down the line but whatever it may be it is for the betterment jab bhi uh, 1950s mein 1960s mein government may have spent on iits that, that may have been a capital expenditure back then but now we are yielding the fruits of it so yes it is a little a little sad that you cannot reap the fruits immediately but uh, it's it's okay i think it is part of life as gaurav gautam also pointed out ki main aaj stock market mein invest karta hu to zaruri nahi hai ki mere short term needs puri ho so i have to keep building an asset and i have to keep contributing to that and uh, one day my retirement corpus gets made my holiday corpus gets made my children's education corpus gets made so things take time uh that's that's the unfortunate reality but uh it is for the for all the good this is the way i would like to look 
Balchandra, sir, would you like to say anything to that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the thing is now, I mean, for 23 budget, next year budget, what are the clues? Because you people are into it. So what are the clues like next year? What could be the what could be the government strategy? I mean, for me, okay, this year I will have the same investment as it was because the elections will be there in 24. So government probably will offer something, some goody goodies, some one lakh here, one lakh there, something. But otherwise, more or less, it remains as it is. I mean, yes. I mean somewhere I read that uh, uh, this fellow, our Ambani has paid some 90,000 crores in terms of tax. So these figures are out of bounds for us. We talk in terms of one lakh plus, one lakh minus. So what is it that for us this coming year, what kind of investment or some sector which could be good in 23, 24, where uh, we get fruits if we invest today? Gautam, you want to take that first? Yeah. Uh, Bajandra, sir, the, the, whatever money is invested today, Atsazo plan, budget, sahe, jikai, ah. whatever they are doing, there, uh, there are two things to it. To me, I mean, for the bigger audience, I'll speak in Hindi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No uh, so, what are you talking about? Short term, I don't think there will be any change. अगले साल इलेक्शन के एंगल से गवर्नमेंट शायद कुछ कर लेगा टू मेक सर्टेन क्लास हैप्पी और व्हाटएवर माय पॉइंट इज वेरी सिंपल कि वेयर द गवर्नमेंट इज इन्वेस्टिंग द सेक्टर्स दैट द गवर्नमेंट इज इन्वेस्टिंग द वन गुड थिंग ट्रस्ट मी आई मीन एक्सेप्ट द बजट द गवर्नमेंट हैज डन अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कंप्लायंस आई मीन ड्यूरिंग कोविड टाइम्स आई हैव सीन uh, we are in equities and mutual fund and uh, that space. And that space, there were so many regulations and so many small changes that uh, that SEBI was doing or uh, based on the guidelines from the government. So my point is, uh, a platform is getting created to... What is it? You a platform that is secure. So you have a platform. Now, trust me, till two years back or three years back, we did not know uh, companies like Zomato, Paytm, there are so many new sectors that are getting that are getting created in the whole thing. Positive, if you have to see, na, uh, sir, lot of, I mean, we are going, we are going from a, a underdeveloped to a developing economy. So, yes. trust me, there is going to be very, very less in terms of guaranteed, but the mindset is typical, Guaranteed me kuch mil sakta hai kya? That's not going to be the case. Yes, we will have to look uh, at sectors or I mean, or uh, which are which are going to take shape in the next five to six years or seven years, depending on our investment horizon. So there are many things that the government is doing in that in in that context. We can probably uh, do a detailed one-to-one -one discussion on that. So, but my point is. Unfortunately, or you have to ex start accepting it, the government is not going to give something like a lollipop to all the Indian yes, citizens. Yes, Baba, yes. Lo, or abhi karo. Abhi, abhi ye aapke liye diya hai na. Probably election ke ek, ek saal pehle aap jo bol na, aisa kuch kar bhi lega. But the problem is, no, sometimes that acts like a apna society hota hai na, ki ye committee kuch karta hai, aur agle saal wapis wo naya committee aata hai, <laughs> so my point is, uh, our focus should not be अगले साल क्या होने वाला है. My focus, your focus should be कि भाई मैं मेरे, मेरे को अभी I am in my active time of investing. मेरे को एक, एक, I only have a limited time to make my money. तो भाई मैं अभी मेरा पैसा कहाँ अच्छी तरह से जा जावे मतलब अच्छा invest हो ताकि when I want to reap the benefits my assets, my proper assets are created and I'm reaping the benefits of that. So that's that's basically in a nutshell what, what we are. One thing that I would like to add here is uh, maybe we don't have to look one year down the line because uh, there are many events that have happened in the last four or five years which have made budgets 
a little a uh, bit of a non event for many factors yes. now since the inception of gst uh, whenever there is a gst council meeting ek mini budget ho jata राइट तो जीएसटी के चेंजेस आपके बजट में नहीं आते तो आते भी है तो छिटपुट आते कुछ ना कुछ ऐसे कि जो अदरवाइज भी जीएसटी काउंसिल मीटिंग के बाद आते सो दिस दिस हैज क्रिएटेड वन डाइवर्जेंस दैट हैज बीन एक्सेप्टेड सेकंड थिंग इज आफ्टर अ लॉट ऑफ लिटिगेशंस लाइक वोडाफोन लॉट ऑफ लिटिगेशन दैट गवर्नमेंट हैज फॉट विद मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज वेयर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ क्रोर्स ऑफ रुपीस वर स्टक and government could not retrieve them government wanted to tax unko laga tha ki yaar main is pe tax laga dunga bahut paisa kama lunga but government somehow failed to do that because those mnc's resolutely fought they fought at high court they fought at supreme court vodafone went as far as to international you know arbitration panels and made sure that they got what they want because they were very sure that what they're saying is right government bolega ki nahi aapne jo arrangement kiya tha आज के तारीख में टैक्सेबल नहीं है पे अभी मैं एक लॉ ला लूंगा जिससे वो टैक्सेबल हो जाएगा इवन इफ वो पहले कर चुका था लॉज पास करके गवर्नमेंट ने वो करना चाहा बट हो नहीं पाया नाउ गवर्नमेंट हैज रियलाइज्ड दैट दे कैन नॉट गो इन फॉर मिस एडवेंचरस टैक्स यू नो अमेंडमेंट एंड देर फोर द गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड दैट ओके अगर मैं ये कुछ चेंज करता हूँ तो एक तो मैं प्रोस्पेक्टिव इफेक्ट से करूंगा और एज फार एज पॉसिबल मैं चेंज ही ना करूं सो दैट आई डोंट हैव टू फाइट दिस चेंज मैनेजमेंट समबडी ओपन्स अ न्यू केस समबडी डज दिस समबडी डज दैट सो गवर्नमेंट विल नाउ फोकस ऑन क्रिएटिंग इंक्रीमेंटल चेंजेस रादर देन बिग बैंक चेंजेस फॉर टैक्स सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ ऑल दीस फैक्टर्स कमिंग इनटू प्ले बजट इज फास्ट लूजिंग इट्स यू नो इंपैक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मनी दैट इट टेक्स अवे फ्रॉम योर पॉकेट और एड्स टू योर पॉकेट there are many factors which have opened up gst council meeting is one there are many uh, uh, mid year changes that rbi does those also matter so all of these things will have to be looked at not just the budget so the objective for common man is mujhe wealth banana hai mujhe mera wealth management karna hai and to the extent these things impact my goal i should look at it otherwise i can just look look at them with only academic interest not because they impact my pocket so uh, yeah uh, so sir uh, abhi market 18600 se 17500 ke aas pass aa gaya right and you, usually matlab economy ko directly apan reflect kar de ki market kahan pe wo hisab se so do you still think that weakness rahega market mein or will it turn around from here or लाइक लोगों को लग रहा था कि वो जो फॉल आया है एंड और इम्पैक्ट होगा बिकॉज ऑफ बजट बट इतना कुछ इम्पैक्ट नहीं हुआ उल्टे का उसी दिन वो थोड़ा थोड़ा राइज भी हुआ एंड लाइक सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड के लेवल से वापस सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सेवन हंड्रेड तक पहुंच गया सो डू यू थिंक यहाँ से वापस रिवर्स होके इट विल गो डाउन एंड इट विल इट स्टिल हैज वीकनेस और विल इट टर्न फ्रॉम यूर एंड टच नहीं हुआ दिस इज फॉर मी आई ओके Okay, so I, I'll talk about the prevailing economic conditions first, and I'll also put in the context the uh, circumstances surrounding this budget. So, it said we talked about what the budget holds and what all provisions it has, but ये कौन सी सिचुएशन में आया है जानना बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है एंड बहुत रेलेवेंट है. So, uh, what is what is right now happening is the world. Uh, is being swept by a inflation wave so right now in usa there is a 20 year high inflation america ka inflation 5% generally cross nahi karta but uh, america's inflation has now crossed 6% in uk there is a 30% high 30 year high inflation इन अ कंट्री लाइक जापान जहां पे जनरली डिफ्लेशन चलता था नाइनटीज में इट इज नोटोरियस फॉर दैट वहां पे नाइन ईयर हाई इन्फ्लेशन चल रहा है एंड इन इंडिया ऑल्सो पोस्ट द बजट ऑल दो यू सॉ दैट द स्टॉक मार्केट रिबाउंडेड बट देर वॉज वन डेवलपमेंट इन द बॉन्ड मार्केट वेर बॉन्ड यूल्ड रोज बॉन्ड यूल्ड रोज शार्पली 
दैट मीन्स द बॉन्ड प्राइजेस फेल डाउन जिसने भी बॉन्ड में इन्वेस्ट किया था उसने बॉन्ड से पैसा निकाल के या तो देश के बाहर निकल चला गया है या फिर वो अपने बैंक अकाउंट में बैठा है कि अभी मैं कहीं तो और इन्वेस्ट करूंगा राइट सो दीज आर ऑल थिंग्स दैट आर हैपनिंग एंड द वेरी फैक्ट दैट द यील्ड्स हैव गॉन अप मींस दैट वी आर आल्सो एक्सपेक्टिंग अ राइज ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन इन इंडिया हियर एंड राइज ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट इन इंडिया हियर एंड इफ दैट इज द केस I expect in the short run at least the stock market to remain either range bound or weak. At the same time, it will be interesting to see how the crude oil works out because crude was also you know Brent crude Brent crude had crossed ninety dollars per barrel very recently, and if it keeps continuing, it will obviously creep into our inflation. So uh, it will be interesting to see all those things. It will be interesting to see how our inflation data pans out. and how rbi responds to that rbi will be forced to increase their interest rates if the inflation goes beyond a certain point so uh, short run mein range bound to weak market medium to long term markets will turn back uh, to their original ways uh, one uh, prediction coming from christopher wood uh, he has been a long run india bull so in the last uh, i think at the time of uh, i don't recall it whether it was at the time of taper tantrum he had predicted that india uh, the sensex will cross 40000 and sensex were trading at something like 20 25000 at that point of time and that was thought to be an unrealistic prediction at that point of time but it happened not just 40000 we crossed 50000 also at sensex and the same guy is now coming out and in today's newspaper in economic times he is now saying that sensex will cross 1 lakh in the next 3 years or 4 years something now if he is saying that i i take his words uh, seriously and long run uh, in a, in a country like ours uh, the growth prospects remain bright people like rakesh junjunwala had also come out after the budget and said that long run india continues to be a bull uh, bull story and all that right so uh long run prospects generally would remain positive as long as our demography is in our favor we are a country of young people working people and it will continue as we keep developing we'll cre- create new companies create new sectors wahan pe bhi job create honge and all of that so our economy is expected to do well over a long run but in the short run 6 months year 6 months at least if not a year uh markets are expected to either remain range bound or weak is my view okay thank you so much i still have a lot of question and mujhe pata hai ki shayad audience mein bhi logo ko question ho gaye but due to time constraints we need to uh, submit here so gautam sir agar aapko kuch kehna hai if you would like to summarize the whole session thank you so much uh, charan so budget is done ho gaya ek ek tarikh ho gaya Uh, now we know a clear path. Uh, मैं स्पेसिफिकली बात करूंगा पर्सनल फाइनेंस की आपके पैसे के बारे में आपके इन्वेस्टमेंट पैटर्न के बारे में आई रिटर्न इन माई आर्टिकल ऑल्सो विच केम इन इन महाराष्ट्र टाइम्स माई अप्रोच इज वेरी सिंपल आई एम ए वेरी ऑप्टोमिस्टिक पर्सन टूवर्ड्स सो आई मीन एंड द गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग मी ऑल दिजम गवर्नमेंट इज टेलिंग मी सिंपल कि मेरे पे डिपेंड मत रहो अपने आप को काबिल बनाओ और काबिल बना के फोकस ऑन योर फोकस ऑन बिकमिंग कॉन्फिडेंट एंड कंफर्टेबल एंड बिग आपको मेरे से हेल्प चाहिए तो मैं आपको कुछ करूंगा मतलब दे आर गिविंग यू अगर आप अगर, अगर आप बिजनेस मैन हो तो मैं आपके हाथ में पैसा दे रहा हूँ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लोन With my schemes, be eligible for them. Do proper business, grow. Usse aap uh, employment create karo. Take more people in. To logon ke hath mein paisa jayega. Log us paise ko kharcha karenge ya invest karenge. So, main us tarah se aapke saath abhi rahunga. Par uh, aap jo mujhe bol rahe ho ki ghadi ghadi aap kuch matlab uh, yahan pe tax benefit do, wahan pe tax benefit do. It's not possible. Uh, agar aapke kharche hai, agar aapko ek lifestyle jina hai. देखिए, आई मीन प्लीज लुक एट योर सेल्फ तो आप अपने आप को देखिए क्या आप पांच साल पहले जितना खर्चा कर रहे थे उससे कम खर्चा कर रहे हैं 
I don't know. Probably the answer is no, and you're doing more kharcha. The government bhi ab aage ja ke unko kharcha karna padega. And we are very clear. We want to see a developing India. So for that, we have to gear gear up. Yeah, ye chote mote chize hongi. Inflation badega. Interest rate short term me badana padega. But fundamentally, India growth story is intact. We have more than abhi latest census ke hisab se one crore. One, sorry, one forty four crore ka. जनता है हमारे साथ सो वी हैव टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड केपेबल फॉर आवर सेल्स एंड इफ यू आर मोर केपेबल मेक अदर पीपल मोर मतलब गेट वर्क डन फ्रॉम अदर पीपल एंड दैट्स हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू ग्रो टुगेदर सो फोकस ऑन क्रिएटिंग योर गोल्स फोकस ऑन क्रिएटिंग योर एसेट्स एंड इफ यू नीड एनी हेल्प फ्रॉम अस वी आर देयर फॉर दैट्स ऑल फॉर मी दैट्स ऑल फॉर Thank you. Would you like to say anything to audience, sir, Arit sir? Sure. So, uh, as Gautam rightly said, focus on your wealth management objectives. Focus on that. Treat your taxation as a part of your overall wealth management process. Right? जो भी आप tax में बचाओगे आपके wealth में add होगा generally. So, treat your taxation uh, strategies as part of your overall tax. और आपको अगर लग रहा है कि कोई छोटा मोटा डिडक्शन आ भी गया बट जिससे मुझे हार्डली थाउजेंड थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड पर ईयर का फायदा हो रहा है दैट्स नॉट अ डिडक्शन वर्थ लुकिंग एट वर्थ यू नो थिंकिंग अ लॉट अबाउट सो क्रिएट अ रेजोल्यूशन इन योर माइंड दैट यू विल मीट योर टैक्स प्लानर और योर सी ए और हु एवर मैनेज द टैक्सेशन फॉर यू यू मेक इट अ पॉइंट टू मीट हिम मोर देन वंस अयर not just for filing return because filing return is basically an exercise only in reporting whatever you already done right so make it a point to meet your tax planners throughout the year in such a way that he can help you claim a lot of additional deductions which you are up till now not uh, able to claim because certain conditions could not get fulfilled certain deadlines were expired certain things happened this way that way so you that meeting that extra meeting that you have with your tax planner will help you uh, plan your taxes properly and then you will be able to save on your taxes so budget doesn't give you much but your tax planner might actually give you something well said well said thank you sir thank you Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining, and thank you so much, Adit sir, for your time and sharing all the valuable details with us. I still have a lot of questions, and I'll call you to ask. <laughs> so yeah, amazing. And please, everyone, take screenshot of the uh, slide. Uh, if you have any text planning, you know who to go. Adit sir is always available, I guess. Yeah, and uh, yeah, amazing. See you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.